safety precautions. Select a communication mode. Installation tools. PPE. Installation process. Appearance. Check that the packaging is intact and that the Sun 2000 model is correct. Take out the fittings and put them safely aside for later use. Sun 2000 appearance and port layout. Determining the installation position. Installation environment and position requirements for the Sun 2000. The Sun 2000 must be installed vertically or at a maximum backward tilt of 15 degrees when it is mounted on a wall or a standard support. Space requirements for wall mounted installation. Installation modes for multiple Sun 2000s. The space requirements for support mounted installation and wall mounted installation are the same. Installing the Sun 2000. Remove the security Torx wrench and save it for later use. Determine the hole positions for the mounting bracket and mark them for drilling. Drill holes using a hammer drill. Align the mounting bracket with the holes and secure it using bolt assemblies. Mount the Sun 2000 onto the bracket. Tighten the anti-theft screws on the Sun 2000 and the mounting bracket. Installing the AC power cable. Check that both DC switches are in the off position. Connect a PE cable. Crimp the OT terminals using hydraulic pliers. Loosen the two screws on the maintenance compartment door. Open the door and install the support bar. Remove the cover and hang it on the hook of the door. Route the cable through the cable gland.
Remove an appropriate length of the jacket and insulation layer from the AC output power cable. Install the AC output power cable. Tighten the cable gland. Installing the DC power cable. Crimp the positive and negative metal contacts onto the positive and negative cables respectively. Insert the positive and negative contacts into the corresponding positive and negative connectors. Secure the tightening screws on the connectors using removal wrenches. Measure the voltage between positive and negative connectors. Remove the dustproof caps and insert the positive and negative connectors into the corresponding positive and negative DC input terminals of the Sun 2000. Installing the DC power cable. Crimp the positive and negative metal contacts onto the positive and negative cables respectively. Insert the positive and negative contacts into the corresponding positive and negative connectors. Secure the tightening screws on the connectors using removal wrenches. Measure the voltage between positive and negative connectors. Remove the dustproof caps and insert the positive and negative connectors into the corresponding positive and negative DC input terminals of the Sun 2000. Connecting the communications cables.
loosen the cable glands. Route the communication cables through the cable glands. Strip an appropriate length of the communication cables. Connect the cables to the terminal base. Connect the terminal base to the terminal block. Bundle the cables. Tighten the cable gland. Connecting the communications cables. Loosen the cable gland. Route the communications cables through the cable gland. Connect the cables to RJ45 connectors. Insert the connectors into RJ45 network ports. Bundle the cables. Tighten the cable gland. Verifying the installation. Check that the Sun 2000 is installed properly. Check that both DC switches are off. Check that the AC switch between the Sun 2000 and the power grid is off. Check that all ground cables are connected securely. Check that all AC output power cables are connected correctly and securely. Check that all DC input power cables are connected correctly and securely. Check that all communications cables are connected correctly and securely. Check that all cable glands in use at the bottom of the enclosure are sealed. Check that the AC terminal cover has been reinstalled. Check that the maintenance compartment door has been closed with its screws have been tightened. Check that unused cable glands, USB ports, and DC input terminals are covered with sealing caps. Powering on the Sun 2000. Set the AC switch between the Sun 2000 and the power grid to the on position. Set the DC switches on the Sun 2000 to the on position. Connect the Sun 2000 to your mobile phone over Bluetooth or a USB data cable. Enable Bluetooth connectivity on your phone. Download and install the Sun 2000 app. Log into the app and set parameters. Calibrating the 4G communication function.
set communications parameters. Remove the Bluetooth module or USB data cable. Press the buckle inward and remove the 4G module cover. Push the SIM card into the card slot. Reinstall the 4G module cover. Secure the 4G module. Observe the LED indicator on the 4G module. 